This beef mince schnitzel recipe is so quick and easy. There's only three ingredients in the schnitzel. And we're going to start by getting our beef mince. And we're just going to add to this our French onion soup mix and an egg. And that's all we need to make these beautiful schnitzels. I'm just going to take my hand and mix all these ingredients together. Make sure that they are all completely combined like this. This is another quick and easy recipe, but it tastes absolutely beautiful. And it really is a great alternative for mints. So once we've completely combined those three ingredients, we're then going to form this beautiful beef schnitzel. So I'm just going to get a layer of glad wrap and put it on my board like this. And then I'm just going to empty our mixture onto that like that. And then I'm going to get another layer and put it over the top. Then I'm just going to use my hands to squash this mixture down. Now you want a very thin layer, you don't want this thick. Just a thin layer because we are going to put our toppings on top later. So just spread it out so you get this big circle like this. And I'm just going to cut this into four like this and we're going to get four nice size schnitzels out of this just pat them down and then we've got these sort of quarter circles which we're going to form like a kidney shape I suppose they're supposed to look a little bit like a a chicken breast so we're just going to form them into like this kidney shape like this that's it so we're going to do the same with each one until we've got all four like this and then I'm going to pop those into the refrigerator for about an hour and then when I take them out we're just going to beat an egg up like this and then I'm just going to pop one onto a plate and use that egg mixture and then in the separate plate we've got our breadcrumbs and our bagel seasoning mixed together I'm just going to pop that over the top like that And the egg mixture makes that stick to it. And then just turn it over and do the same on the back. Just brush it with the egg mixture. Put our breadcrumbs, bagel seasoning on the top. Just get rid of any of the excess. And that's it. That's how we make our schnitzels. So we're just going to do the same with all four schnitzels like this and then I'm going to pop these into the fridge until I'm ready to cook them. Before I start cooking I'm going to get my bacon. I'm going to put it onto a line tray like this. I'm just going to pop that under the grill all into the air fryer for about 10 minutes until we've got these beautiful pieces of bacon like this. So I'm just going to pop them to the side while we cook our schnitzels. So we're going to heat up a pan. Now I've got enough oil in this so that the schnitzel will just sit on into the oil at the bottom. It will just cover the bottom of the schnitzel. When I've heated it up, I'm going to place my schnitzels in there. I'm only going to do three 
today. I've kept the nib, one of them for tomorrow. So I'm going to pop them into the pan like that. And we're just going to leave them for about four or five minutes. Don't turn them. And then when you do turn them, you want to make sure they're nice and golden on the other side, like that. So it's basically the same as what you would do with a hamburger. And then we're just going to turn them over, flip them over, and do the same with the other side. So it's about four or five minutes on each side. And then I'm going to use the same baking tray that I cooked my bacon on. I'm going to pop those on top of it and then we're just going to make it up so I've got some sun-dried tomato dip and I'm just going to place one heaped teaspoon on top of each of these like this and just spread it over the top as I say very quick and easy but tastes absolutely delicious so once we've got our sun-dried tomato over the top then we're going to place a couple of those bacon pieces on top of each one like this and then I'm just going to grab about half a handful of mozzarella and just place that over the top also then we're just going to put some parsley on the top like this and then I'm going to pop these back into the air fryer or oven 200 degrees and that cheese is melted and beautiful golden brown look at that absolutely delicious these are very quick easy and tasty and i'm just going to plate mine up with some beautiful wedges and a cabbage mix and we'll cut it in half so you can see the inside look at that beautiful